Clay, I'm so glad that you've joined me today for this week's women's devotion. We're going to take a look at Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. You know, I thought this was an interesting challenge to take a look at because we're not together right now. It says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. But how do we do that when we're separated? Well, it starts with a commitment. The first line says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. All times, not just the times when we're corporately gathered for worship, not just the times when we're celebrating together or when we're just having things go pretty well in our lives. But in these times of uncertainty and longing, in times of fear and doubt, we can still praise his name. And why? It says, my soul makes its boast in the Lord. My worth, my identity, my status, and my security are anchored in the promises of the Most High God. And his word is faithful and true. So what does that mean practically, though? How do we make this commitment and live it out? Verse 13 has a word for us. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. You know, one of the things that inevitably rises out of unstable times such as these is a wealth of opinions and debating and political jockeying. You may be seeing it on your social media pages. You may be seeing it in the news. It may even be happening in your home and your personal interactions. But I think that these verses are calling us back to a reminder that we should be in control of our actions and our words. Instead of feeling that push, that tendency to speak without thinking or post without investigating or just responding without anchoring ourselves in the love and truth of Jesus, this is a reminder that we can seek peace and actively pursue it. I love that this language isn't passive. It's telling us we have something to do. Peace is something to be sought after and pursued. Peace is not something that's going to happen in our homes and our interactions if we just sit back and wait for it. The best way that I know of is to ask the Prince of Peace himself to guide us in it. I need him to bridle my tongue and provide discernment for me. I need him to guard my heart and my mind. So let's ask him for that today. Lord Jesus, we know that yours is the way of truth and love and peace. Would you make us more like you? We ask that you would give our hearts discernment in our relationships and interactions, that you would order our steps and use us as instruments of your peace in a world that is so chaotic right now. We want to make your name known and we commit now to bless your name at all times because you are the only one who is worthy and our souls are anchored in your faithfulness. It's in your name that we pray, amen. Thank you so much for listening today, and we'd love it if you would share this devotion and the others on our page so that others can be encouraged as well. We hope you'll join us again next week for another installment of our weekly devotions, and I hope you have a great day.